Hi, and welcome to the Next Level ATL. We are sitting here in fabulous Lenox Square, which is really not fabulous anymore. Anyway, um, oh, happy Mother's Day, and um, don't go to Godiva. Cause Stay out of the Godiva go, store. Like, Stank. Don't. Just, no. Mm. No, don't. They have chocolate, like the stuff that they're putting in the um, shelves, you know, to give to customers. In the case, They have the right. boxes in the case, right. And they have it sitting out, like where people can look at it, touch it, feel it, you know, sneeze on it. Cough and on I, it. Yeah, I know, because I looked over in the box, I didn't sneeze, because that's ill. But, you know, I'm sure people did. Anyway, so you don't want to go in there anymore, because, eh. Anyway. We're here this time to talk to you about what's going on. Now, I want to start with the seasons because I think that this season is really important to talk about because we feel better about ourselves. We're exercising, probably, you know, doing that little bit of dieting that we do. You know how it goes. Uh, working out, you know, hitting the gym, hitting the pool, whatever. And it's causing us to want to also spend more time with people, especially a special person. And that's all fine, well and good. We know that relationships are great and that's why we're here because we're talking about relationships. But what we want to caution you against is opening up. You know, we're, we're practicing keeping our legs closed and it's for a very good reason. We have another good reason to tell you about which I'll get to in just a minute. But what we're doing is keeping our legs closed and it's not just for the month, it's for all of 2012 and, and we're going to keep on going too. But, you know, understand so it's keep our legs closed year. That's what it is. And uh, we're doing that and talking about it even the more so this time because there are guys that are helping each other find the way to prey on our emotions and our circumstances in order to get us to open our legs in three days or less. What? Uh, Raina wants to say something. Yes, and I wanted to say very quickly, um, first of all, please forgive me that the camera is waving around. Yeah. Very hard I'll to hold. I'll just too. Yeah, very hard to hold the tripod still tonight. Um, due to our setup here, but I want to thank Dee Dee Coleman of Minerva Place. That's Dee Dee dot Minerva Place dot com. Dee Dee is the one that sent me the links that told me there are websites out there um, where they have extensive coaching programs re dealing with called Get Laid Tonight. Yes, Same Night Seduction dot com has an actual seminar called Get Laid Tonight. And that is there. Now, this is not every guy, of course. We don't want to blame every single brother. This is not a hate the brother show. But what we are saying is that unless you are on your guard, you need to make sure that you are not falling for this crap right here. Yes, I said C R A P because that is what it is. That's exactly what it is. Carry on. That's exactly what it is. And again, you know, it's not a hate the brother show. Listen. You know, we're telling you how to get yourself together to attract the mate that you want. They're doing the same thing, and we just don't want to fall prey to what's in their minds for a mate because it's not a long-term mate, it's a one-night mate. And that kind of thing, you know, we, we're guarding against. We want you to find that gentleman that's doing the same soul work that you're doing that's causing him to seek you so that you have a lifetime together, not just one night. And mm -hmm. uh, also what we want to do tonight is we want to give you some hints on what to look for when you think you are getting played because there are unfortunately the smooth brothers out there who mm -hmm. are just looking to do exactly that and I'm gonna guess some I know that Miss Kimberly Green has some has a few aside too but I think the number one thing to look for how fast is he talking and is he listening to you at all or is he just telling you what he thinks you want to hear exactly is he ask first of all is he asking you on the first date whether or not you grew up with your father because that's a dead giveaway right there for someone who is trying to find out how emotionally vulnerable you are so that he can take advantage of you mm -hmm. that's the main one right there that's and then true. you know there are other ones too they want to find out you know these are things that I know your mom told you not to do when you're out in public with strangers and to find out where you live, how many roommates you got, all that. You know, you don't want to be giving up that information to someone you just met anyway. But, you know, through a, through a social network like Facebook where it seems really safe mm -hmm. because it's a friend of a friend, right? Wrong. You know, wrong. So what, it, what would you say look for? You know, what kind of hints would you want to give our audience out there about what, what to look for? When you well, I'll say this. One of the trends that I've noticed, because I've been approached a few times, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Being a strong woman, and not a strong black woman, just a strong woman, because we're talking to all women, 
being a strong woman, what I have found is that a lot of guys assume that with me being so strong that they can come alongside and say, oh, I'll take all of the burden of you doing such and such and such mm. from you, you know, so that you can sit back and you can be the queen and I'll cater to you, baby. You know, just let me move in. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse, please? Mm-mm. We're not doing that. And so you've got kind of like a two-sided thing there. First of all, you know, I'm going to take the burden off of you. First of all, dude, you don't know me. You don't know whether or not it's a burden. And if I've told you it's a burden, I was probably just sharing anything that I would have shared with a good girlfriend anyway. Um, I'm pretty much okay with handling whatever is mine to handle. I don't need you to come and take me out of what I'm doing in that manner first and foremost, and I certainly don't need you to move up in my place. Right, and the other thing, you know, some of the things you need to look out for, the same things that we told you to look out for in the first show. Um, you know, is he con is he conversing with you mostly by text message? Uh, does it is it always drinks and never dinner? Uh, is he unavailable on the weekends? And you can always, there's this older movie with, with Al Pacino when he was first starting to get back into the day, into the Hollywood scene called Sea of Love. He and, and Ellen Barkin. Mm -hmm. Rent that if you've got a chance. I would not, hey, if he tells you to meet him at a certain bar, sit back for a minute and make sure that table and that chair wasn't occupied before you showed up. Hello. Because, you know, they will try that mess. Oh, they will do it. Uh, what was it that Biggie said? Um somebody's flight left and and i can't remember y'all gotta forgive me you know what song i'm talking about right. where one chick left out the other one was coming in he was in the same spot that one yeah you know what it is they do that and they will do that to you so yes being observant being extra observant is certainly um key to your success in this area and dealing with um, those predatory type men and again that's not all men and we know that we're talking about the predatory ones um there was something else that came to mind too and it is slipping my mind right now. I apologize. I started thinking about Biggie and, and trying to remember that song. But what you definitely uh, want to do, look out for, oh, I know what it was, the push pull. A lot of guys who are looking to prey on you will create an emotional situation in you that then they, they then resolve. So you want to look for that kind of push pull kind of thing, like where they'll give you let's say extra attention and then they'll disappear and then you're wondering well what happened you know was it me did I say something um, you know what happened to him is he okay that kind of thing and then he shows up like everything is fine and he's oh so in love with you or oh so in like with you that kind of thing so look out for that push pull that's definitely emotional abuse even though it's it's low level abuse it's still abuse and that's not something that you want for your relationship and that's definitely a key to uh, that predatory type of behavior. Right, they call that crazy making behavior, in fact, um, where you have someone who acts one way when it's just you and him, and in fact, he might be acting in ways that are extremely inappropriate, but when there's an audience or when his normal crew or his family's around, suddenly he acts like he doesn't know who you are mm -hmm. or he uh, mm -hmm. or he or he will also um, you know he'll come on hard and heavy be you know he'll be inviting you to things and invite you to events and you would naturally assume that this guy's interested in dating you and then all of a sudden he just disappears then you find out later he's had the same girlfriend for five years mm -hmm. or that he's got kids or something mm -hmm. and we want you to watch out for that ladies because we want you Thank you, thank you, thank you, audience. Thank right. you, thank you. Woohoo! We want you to have the we want you to have the best there is, and we know. I, I'm here to tell you from experience, if you will be patient, and you will honor yourself first, if you will use the time that you are alone um, for emotional and spiritual healing, and not worry about the outcome. Let the outcome go to God. Let that go. I promise you, you will get somebody who is better than anything you could have come up with, no matter how many things you have on your list. Absolutely. And in a very unexpected manner. Exactly. You know, it, it seems, and it's actually very true, that the moment that you choose to let all of that go, 
is the moment that it comes, you know, and you'll hear, um, especially those of you who listen to or go to church and you have a, a pastor or you listen to those that talk about um, the Bible and spirituality on television, they will tell you that the moment that you let go and let God is when things start to happen. And it's definitely, definitely true. So what you want to do again is focus on who you are and are becoming and make sure that you're becoming that valuable jewel that you want to be so that you're attracting that king that will appreciate only you for the precious woman that you are. And he won't try to violate you by pushing for any intimate contact too soon. So that's what we have here. Oh, we wanted to mention, um, did we talk about the HIV rate? No, we Didn't also, mention that we, one, we I'm wanted getting this one, which means hurry wrap it up. It up. Yes, but, yes. But um, we want to say also, we're telling you to keep your legs closed because especially in the Atlanta area, ladies 25 to 54, the rate of us contra contracting HIV and having AIDS has skyrocketed and we want to caution you against that. So not only are we wanting you to be better emotionally and spiritually, but we want you to be better physically as well. Be on guard for that type of thing to always protect yourself no matter what behavior you choose to indulge in. Raina. And that's all we wanted to say. Go to 11alive.com for more information on uh, HIV infection and AIDS infection rates. They are now rivaling that of some African countries. And these are not women who are, in, who are indulging in risky behaviors. These are women who are with men that are playing them and telling them what they want to hear, and they are infecting them and other women. These are women in their 40s and 50s who never in a million years would guess that the man that they live with is doing this. And I guess that goes to say that, you know, if he doesn't respect you enough to marry you and give you his name, he doesn't need to be in your house, in your bed. Hello. Well. And that's pretty much it right there. Yes. And thanks for joining us today. Come by and see us this week on Tuesdays at 2.30. We are on Blog Talk Radio at the Next Level ATL. Um, if you don't, if you aren't able to catch us live, we understand the time. <laughs> the time is more to coincide with my children's nap times. Uh, catch us on the repeat and on iTunes at the Next Level ATL. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time.